A major discovery was made at the Nimliponit archaeological site located at Indian Creek Village in the Toledo district. That's 25 miles out of Punta Gorda on the Southern Highway. Correspondent Paul Mahong was there and he filed this report. In the presence of very happy Indian Creek villagers and amidst the archaeological team who made the magnificent archaeological discovery, Director of Institute of Archaeology, Niche, Dr. John Morris, spoke of the latest findings. We started uh, late uh, in May, in the middle of May, and um, we were working on one of the structures there at Nemliponit, so Structure 7, um, which is a range building. And in our excavation of the structure, we were actually conserving the structure for better tourism purposes. We came across two tombs. And in one of the tombs, there were several magnificent vessels, the beautiful ceramic vessels. Uh, but the highlight of it also was a stupendous jade plaque. It's an ornament that is usually placed around the neck of a ruler. It's not only a beautiful object of antiquity of the ancient Maya, but the story it tells us is also extremely fascinating. The archaeologists working at the site, Dr. Braswell, who has deciphered some of the information on the plaque, has recounted that the story goes that a young man who was invested as a ruler at the site of Nimliponit, the more fascinating aspect of it is that his parents are actually from the major site of Karakol, which is in western Belize up in the Chikibul. And so we can see that even in the ancient times, the story of the ancient Maya was rich with intrigue, rich with uh, these dynasties, these rulers, uh, their children were sent to different sites and they, they, you know, it's the story that you find in Roman literature or in, in, in the Middle East um, amongst in the Greeks, you know. We actually have the makings of, of these kinds of stories uh, that will enrich our studies of the ancient Maya. The work at Nemlipunit is an amazing site because it is a, it's a relatively small site. But we have found quite a bit of material here at Nimblepunit. It has the longest stele in Belize, and now we have perhaps the second largest carved jade in the entire Mesoamerica, in the entire Maya area. Professor Dr. Jeff Braswell of University of California, San Diego, was leader of the on-site work team at Nimblepunit. We are currently excavating in the royal palace of the site where the kings and queens of Nimli Punit lived from about 400 AD until after 800 AD. We're showing the villagers today two tombs in this palace. The first dates to the beginning, to about 400 AD, and it has beautiful pots, including one that probably comes from central Mexico, from Teotihuacan, north of Mexico City. This shows connections between the ancient Maya of Toledo district and people a long way away, more than, more than a thousand miles away. The other discovery that is really exciting is a much later tomb that dates to about 800 AD and in it we found 26 beautiful pots, the nicest of which is in the visitor center in Nimli Punit, so you can come see it. We also found uh, an incredible jade pectoral, a piece of jade that would be worn around the neck of Maya kings for their rituals. Manager of Archaeological Parks of Belize, George Thompson, emphasized the importance of the discovery. This particular discovery shows that there was, 1,400 years ago, a linkage between Nimlipunit and also our magnificent site of Karakol in the Kayo district. So this, apart from adding a new dimension to the visitor experience, it adds also to the history of what we know about these very important sites. Along with team leader Dr. Jeff Braswell and graduate students Mario Borrero and Maya Azarova of Department of Anthropology, University of California, San Diego, the discovery team included eight men from Indian Creek Village, including Victor Mas, who, like his work, crew was glad. I'm very happy in being part of this ex excavation that we are in right now that has uh, so far found some interesting uh, potteries and the remains that we found in the, the unit that we have excavated. Both Dr. John Morris and Dr. Jeff Braswell assured the gathering of villagers and visitors that the latest, most valuable and magnificent archaeological discoveries at Nemlipunit belong to the people of Belize and confirmed that the precious findings will remain in Belize.
Reporting for Love News from Nimlipunit site, I am Paul Mahone.